All right, next up, this is a really interesting game here. This is an interesting non-conference game. We've got Jacksonville State, one of the better teams right now in their conference, uh, Conference USA, taking on South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina, 15-point home favorites, 15.5 in some spots, 55 being the uh, total here uh, in this game. Uh, South Carolina, geez, just when I'm ready to, you know, just absolutely – bail out on this team. I, you know, I was on them a couple of weeks and they're a team that's starting to frustrate me because I think I was on them against uh, Missouri and didn't even show up in that game. And I went against them last week with A&M and sure enough, uh, South Carolina covers that game, although they still lost uh, to Texas A&M in that game. The O-line is still an issue. You know that they've had eight different offensive line starting combinations this year. It's just yeah. ridiculous. I mean, it's just they can't get any continuity. Spencer Rattler's being treated like a human whoopee cushion right now uh, in the yeah. pocket. Yeah, <laughs> For He's just getting times, yeah. yeah, every yeah. single week. Um, this is not an offense where I'm loving laying 15 and a half with them right now. Not at all. And if anything with Jacksonville State, you know Rich Rod's team should be fired up. They get to play an SEC team, really get to test their metal, cut their teeth on a really good opponent or, or a, a Power 5 opponent here. I don't know about really good, but a Power 5 opponent. I think that has them fired up. Now, the one concern here would be the one good area. The South Carolina has a horrible pass defense. Is Jacksonville State going to be able to exploit that? Jacksonville State, as we've said all season, they're very heavily run-oriented on offense. And that is the better part of the South Carolina defense. They're actually pretty good against the run. They're only giving up 3.8 yards per carry uh, on the ground. So if Jacksonville State struggles to run the ball, can they do enough, you know, to be able to move the football here? I still lean Jacksonville State. I don't want any part of laying a number like this with the Gamecocks. It's actually Gamecocks versus Gamecocks. It's a battle of the Gamecocks here. I should point that out. Couple of cocks. Couple of cocks. Uh, I would go with the underdog cock before I lay it with the ro- the favorite cock. Don't lay the favorite cock here. Uh, in this one. Uh, but again, the, the concerns about going up against that run defense of South Carolina do worry me because Jacksonville State needs to be able to run the ball to have success because Webb and Smothers, they are athletic quarterbacks. They're still not gifted pocket passing quarterbacks. What do you think here, C-Mac? No, they're not. You know, <laughs> but I, one thing, there's just certain teams we talk about, South Carolina. I know as a dog, you maybe look at them. And they cover even though they lost, like you mentioned. Now they're back home in a game they should win. But there is no way in hell right now with this team. That offensive line. And the defense has been, like, at times, some game, okay, and then just got torn apart. I just don't know what's going on with that South Carolina defense at all. So, yeah, I think the points with Jacksonville State is the way to go here. I think they can hang around. Uh, and I, they got to be up for this game, you know. They had uh, the bye, or they played the Thursday. So they've had a little extra rest. That's, yeah, which is huge country. for a game like this where they're stepping up in class against a Power 5 team, where they've got that little bit of extra time uh, to get ready uh, for this game, which they do, uh, quite honestly. Yeah. This is like a mini bye week. It's not a full bye week, but they played last, uh, what was it, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday against uh, FIU. It was a uh, Wednesday game. Uh, last yeah, I think week. it was Wednesday game. Yeah, it was a Wednesday night game. And that's basically going to be 8, 9, 10, basically 10 days now uh, between games. So a little extra to get yourself ready for this game against South Carolina. We saw them kind of get beat up by Liberty, but is this a huge, you know, it is a step up, obviously, at South Carolina. I just, I don't want to be on that side. That's for sure. You're right. Take the dog, the dog cock. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the Furman is the only win they've had by more than this point spread. They beat Furman by 26, South Carolina. So I'd be cautious as well about 